they will put a question mark over the prospects of further investment and further development. I, I'm grateful to the right hon. Jones. He spoke a few moments ago of consistency and clarity, and he just a second ago mentioned inward investment from Japanese companies. I don't recall that that was always his keenest and most enthusiastic point. <laughs> But in, in, in 1972, in 1972, when he and I were both in this house, I voted in favour of the European Communities Bill, and the right honourable gentleman voted against it. In 1975, uh, I opposed the referendum when he was in favour of it. Could he just give the House, could he give the House one example? With an intervention, I'd not speak, please. Would the right honourable gentleman give the House one example of one major issue in, since 1970 to this very afternoon where he hasn't changed his mind for purely electoral convenience on issues to do with our minister? Yes, Mr. Speaker, immediately the honourable member and I, I think, came into this House on the same day. I formed a view then that he was a jerk. I've still got that view. <laughs> the, uh, I say again, let, let's settle down. This is a very important debate which is being listened to and seen by a great many people outside. Well, I'm not certain the jerk is a, is a parliamentary expression. I've heard worse things here, but we've tried it. Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker. The question that the government has got to respond to. I would say to the House, it gives a very bad impression outside. Uh, what is it? Mr. Speaker, is it in order, is it in order to insult an honourable member by calling him a jerk? It's the best he can do. I, I've just said that I, the word jerk, I think, is not amongst the unparliamentary questions. But I did, I did ask, I asked the leader of the opposition if he would refine it, perhaps he would do so. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. The question that the government must answer, Mr. Speaker, is this parliamentary, you think it is? Help me, please. Certainly, Mr. Speaker, the, uh, the question that the government must respond to, Mr. Speaker, if they maintain their position and if the Tory party demonstrates its great nervousness by these attempts to disrupt, the whole country will form an accurate opinion. Let, let the House, let the House now settle down. I will ask the Leader of the Opposition. That was not a, a parliamentary question. It helps this particular debate. Would he be kind enough, please, in the interest, good order, to refine what he has said, not to withdraw it in Mr. Speaker, I respect you. I respect this House. If the honourable gentleman is offended, though I doubt it, then certainly I withdraw any offence. Mr. Speaker, 